The aim of the SEQ is to help improve compassion being delivered in clinical care and the larger healthcare system through scientific research and by changing practice. But making those improvements relies on us using and scoring the SEQ in the right ways. In this video, we're going to cover the most important things that you need to know about working with the SEQ. We'll break it down into three areas. Administering the SEQ, scoring and integrating the SEQ, and interpreting the SEQ. For more detailed information, make sure to get a copy of the user manuals for both the gold standard and adapted SEQ versions. The gold standard SEQ is a self-administered measure designed to assess patients' compassion scores on a weekly basis in acute care, long-term care, and hospice settings. To reduce response bias, it should be given by someone who isn't directly involved in the patient's care. When used for research, it should be administered by a member of the research team. If the patient can't complete it on their own, do the compassionate thing. Help them by reading the question and the preamble, then recording their answers. If their length of stay is less than seven days, you can use the adapted versions with shorter time windows as determined by the setting and your judgment of the meaningful time points in their care. Whether being used for research or in clinical practice, you should do three things when administering the questionnaire. First, tell the patient it takes about three minutes to complete. Second, ask them to read the preamble and the questions in full. Third, for research especially, make sure that there are no missing responses. With the questionnaire completed by the patient, it's time to move on to the next stage, scoring and integrating. The SEQ is scored by calculating the mean score of all the items. A higher overall score is indicative of greater reported compassion. If you're a clinical user, this has three major benefits. It gives you a clinical snapshot of how a patient is experiencing compassion, it lets you identify how their responses vary over time, and it allows you the chance to adjust aspects of your care as you go. If you're a healthcare leader, you will be able to plot compassion scores for units and institutions or between variables like age, setting, time, and health status. This offers a number of possibilities, such as integrating results into medical records, identifying clinical settings that need additional support, reporting organizational compassion scores to assist patients and families in choosing between care facilities, motivating and supporting teams to improve care, most importantly, improving patients' experiences of compassion. Interpreting your results should be done carefully though. Let's talk about that next. When reviewing scores, there are four key things to remember. One, baseline expectations of compassion can vary. Some patients have low expectations, some incredibly high. Be careful in comparing between patients, units, and organizations. Two, care settings aren't always comparable. Bad news delivered by a highly compassionate palliative care team may score lower than a labor and delivery care team that delivers good news but doesn't do so with compassion. Three, Correlation doesn't mean causation. Low scores don't necessarily mean poor compassion. There may be other factors at work, like staff to patient ratios, patient characteristics, care locations, or differing levels of organizational support. Four, it's a tool for support and improvement. The SEQ is a tool for improving patient care and supporting care teams in doing so. Everyone has different baselines for compassion and healthcare providers have different ways of expressing it. Compassion is a team sport. So there you have it, an introduction to the most important parts of using and scoring the SEQ. For more information, make sure to review the gold standard and adapted user manuals. If you're interested in learning more about the SEQ or want to discuss how you can begin using one of our questionnaires, make sure to contact us via our website.